Welcome back everybody, Silas here. This video here I was actually not planning on making a separate video by itself, but just the way it worked out and I felt like it was a fairly interesting thing that happened, I thought, you know what, we'll go ahead and make it a video. So what's happening here is I decided I was going to go on a little fishing trip up a creek. I had never gone there before, but uh, what I discovered was pretty interesting. And good morning. I stayed up till about midnight last night and it started to rain, so I went ahead and went to bed. It's been sprinkling. It rained a little bit last night, not a whole lot. It's been sprinkling off and on this morning. I've got my kayak with me. Uh, it's starting to rain now, of course. It's just been sprinkling all morning and now it's actually starting to rain. Now, I may try minnows for bait, but I want to try something. I've had really good luck with hot dogs for catfish in the past. I forgot to grab hot dogs. However, I was looking and I've got this. That's basically the same thing. This is just a block instead of a, a hot dog form. <laughs> So, I'm going to put some of this on a hook and see if we can catch anything with it. It's worth a try. Well, it's a little bit windier down here than I thought it would be, but well, I let the weather figure out what it wants to do, I'm going to do a little bit of crappie fishing over here by this tree. That was good. Gust of wind came just as I cast it. Already lost my lure. Well, looks like we're going to switch to spam already. Catfish resist that. I'm going to attempt to lodge myself since I forgot my anchor. I'm going to try to put my point in those two sticks up there and my tail up against this one. I don't know. I might be a little bit, I might not be long enough for that, but we're going to try it. That way we can kind of be stationary. This wind keeps pushing me away. I can't believe I forgot my anchor. Well, it's not exactly what I wanted. I keep fish tailing back and forth on my back end. Wish I had a piece of rope. I'd just tie off to that. I have rope in the truck is the crazy part, but the truck's all the way back there. <laughs> I'm a long ways away now. Got stuck on a log. This water's not very deep. I imagine when the water's actually up, this is probably pretty good fishing in here. I've stopped at a few spots and tried, but I haven't even got a nibble. I tried using a jig again, didn't have any luck with that, but like I say, it's like there's a log right there underneath the surface. We're getting shallower and shallower the further up here we go. It's pretty up here, that's for sure, but I'm thinking I may turn around, go back to the bridge. There was a guy at the bridge that had a catfish on a stringer, and he left. We'll go a little bit further. I want to check out this tree that's hanging out over the water down here, and then after that, I guess we'll head back. Here's what we're going to do. I just pulled up here on the bank. That way I can just kind of walk along here and fish without having to fight the current. I don't know why I didn't think of that sooner. Well, I think I want to move on to another spot. You guys see that big old carp? I've seen a ton of those things. If you stand real still, 
they all start coming around. But I'm going to grab my stuff, and I think I'm going to hike up and hike down a ways. There's a bend in the river. I don't really want to take the kayak, just because I feel like I might get stuck on branches over here. So I'm going to hike down there to that bend in the river, see if maybe there's a hole there. Maybe there's a big old catfish hiding out. This spot here looks decent. I want to try to cast over there by that scum. Maybe there's something down underneath that. I should have brought actual bait. I mean, it's kind of my own fault. I mean, what was I thinking bringing this and nothing else? There's a bait shop right down the road. I could have went and got some worms. But I'm definitely going to remember this spot. Maybe I'll come back later in the year. The good news is, is the wind has changed directions and now it's blowing that direction. So I had the wind pushing me coming up here and I'll have the wind pushing me going back. But we're going to try this area here for a little bit, oh, 30, 40 minutes or so. If we don't get any nibbles or nothing, I think I'm going to do a little bit of mushroom hunting and then I guess we'll head back. One thing, whatever fish are in this creek are stuck in this creek. They can't get out. They can't get out to the reservoir and then obviously the creek dead ends up that way somewhere. So whatever's in here is stuck in here until the water comes back up. So it's possible that it's been fished out, but I kind of doubt it. There's got to be some more fish in here somewhere. Just got a matter of finding out where their, where their holes are. Well, I made a makeshift bank line out of my fishing string. If it catches anything very big, it'll break. But maybe we'll catch a four or five pounder. I figured I'm going to come back here to this little dry creek and see if I can find any mushrooms. I thought I was done mushroom hunting for the year, but I guess I'm not. This tree here was just so appealing the way it's half fallen over. It's the wrong type of tree though. Oh. Oh. We got a fish. We got a fish. There we go. I came back just in time. My bank line worked. <laughs> I'm glad I wedged my pull up like that. There we go. There we go, boys and girls. Spam does work for catfish. Spam does work. That's a nice one there too. Is my camera even on? Okay, yeah, my camera's on. <laughs> Making sure. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. That is exciting, guys. I am stoked. There we go. Catfish. Oh, man. It is pouring down right now. Ooh, that rain's cold, too. I'm trying to find a halfway dry spot that I can hide. Maybe I can put this over my head. The guys want that catfish, so I'm going to go ahead and take it back. But I went ahead and put my line back out in the water. Where there's one, there might be two. I want to put my life jacket over my head. Try to keep me at least halfway dry, I guess. I don't know how long it took for that catfish to bite because I went out into the trees right after I cast it out. So I was gone for about 15, 20 minutes. Whew, the rain's cold. But it's going to be even colder if I try kayaking back in it. This is my only coat, too. I'm going to have to put it on the heater in the truck get it dried out. I've got more clothes, but I don't have any more coats. I'm somewhat protected underneath these trees. Kind of. Not really. <laughs> Fish on. This one's a little bit bigger. It's pulling drag. I've got 12 pound tests, so I should be fine. It ain't that big. <laughs> Out here in the pouring down rain catching catfish. Oh yeah, this one's a better one here. Look at that bad boy. That's a good one there. Makes that other one look like a baby. There we go. <laughs> look at those guys. <laughs> the least you could do, since I'm out here in the rain, is if you're watching this part of the video, is just give it a thumbs up, please. <laughs> I'm getting absolutely drenched. I got two good catfish though down there on the stringer. That one. That big one ate my hook, so I lost that hook. I've got this hook, and I have two more hooks. So I guess we'll see if we can catch anything else. Put it right there. I just anchor it right there, that way it can't take off from the pole. And we'll keep an eye on it. That last one started biting within five minutes, and it was on there because it swallowed it. So we'll see what happens. Oh, fish on. This is another good one. That's three, guys. 
three in less than 30 minutes. Oh, no, 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 it snapped my line. Oh man, that was a good one too. That was even bigger than the second one. Oh, I see there's a log right there, wrapped around a log. Man. Oh no, it didn't, my hook's still on there. It just ripped it out of its mouth. Bummer. Well, that's okay. We'll put some more bait on. I mean, that took less than five minutes to get that fish on there. I tell you what, this spam. <laughs> I was a little bit disappointed at first, but now that we're catching bunches of fish, I am very impressed with the spam. Maybe I should put a little bit smaller piece on there. That way it's not so big. That way maybe they'll swallow the, or not swallow the hook, but get it set in their mouth a little bit better. And also this time, I think I'm just gonna hold the pole. Oh, this rain is miserable though. But maybe that's why they're biting. Well, maybe that's the trick is I have to lay the pole down <laughs> because all the time I was out here fishing, didn't get a single bite. I put the pole down, walk in the trees, I get a catfish. I come back, put the pole down, I get a catfish. Put the pole down, I get a catfish. Now I stand here and hold the pole for 20 minutes. I don't get nothing. That's a bummer. We lost that one. You guys trying to get away? I got that anchored over there pretty good, but I got to better keep an eye on that. That was a pretty strong catfish. But it's also possible that they may have quit biting already. Because they all, I caught all three of those just as the rain was starting. But now the rain's really going and there's lightning and thunder and stuff. So maybe maybe the atmosphere has changed and they're not in the mood to bite now. I don't know. I marked this spot on my map. I mean, it's, it's quite a ways to get here, but it was well worth it. I do wish we could have got that other catfish. That's a bummer. I didn't even see that log over there. I wouldn't have let him go over there if I would have known it was there, but... Or I would have tried not to anyway. But I was looking at those branches and he was a long ways away from those. I didn't see that log under the water. You probably can't see it on the camera. Well, I guess I'm gonna recast and then put my pole down again. Do I even have bait? No, something stripped my bait. That's why I ain't getting no bites. <laughs> I wonder how it did that without me even feeling it. This is absolutely absurd. <laughs> what is up with this rain? I mean, even if I jump on the kayak, by the time I get back, I want to be soaking wet anyway. So I guess I might as well stand here and go fishing. Radar says that this will be on in about 15 minutes or so, 10 to 15 minutes, and there's no more coming this way for a while. So we'll hold out and wait for that. But then I think I may have to go ahead and abandon this spot and just remember it for the future because I am genuinely soaked to the core every inch of me is soaked except for my socks these cane boots i mean they're soaked but my socks are dry that's how waterproof these things are oh there we go got it don't go around that log again oh it's peeling from the drag what is it this time another good sized catfish can we get this one out of the water? Should have brought a net. Man, look at these things. Yep, that one swallowed my hook again. I got one hook left, guys. <laughs> one hook left. Well, there we go. I think we're on the tail end of it. Now watch, the fish will stop biting. <laughs> my buddy got stuck on a dirt road. He was out driving when that downpour hit and it turned to slime. So I may have to go pull him out here in a minute anyway. We're going to hang out for probably, oh, if we don't get a bite within 10, 15 minutes, we'll go ahead and call it quits. As fast as they've been biting. And that's the key, though, is I have to put my pole down. If I hold my pole, I don't get bites. <laughs> I may see if I can talk somebody else into filleting those, since I did all the work of catching them. <laughs> How's that for a trade-off? We'll trade services. I gave myself pneumonia to get the fish, and I'll cook the fish, but somebody else has got to do all the bloody work. You got a fish nibbling? We might. Either he took my bait or he's not interested anymore. I don't know, I still have bait. Guess I should have left it out there. This river scum though, it's a pain. Nasty stuff. Part of the problem is, is this hook that I have on here now isn't really made for what I'm doing right now. It's <laughs> just what I have left. Because my other hooks are inside of those guys. 
Well, we were just getting a bite, so I'll go ahead and cast it back out there and wait a little bit longer. I feel like over there is a better spot than down there. Now, I guess I did catch that one over there, and I did get a bite over there, but over here they were biting a little bit faster, I felt like. Of course, I am just freelining it. It's just a chunk of spam on a hook out there on a string, or on a, yeah, on a fishing string, so. I don't have any weight on there or nothing. So I guess it can kind of drift along the bottom. That's kind of what I was going for. If you're fishing with a minnow or a perch or something like that, sometimes you want to put a weight. That way it can kind of swim around, but not too far. But with what I'm doing, I felt like it was a better deal just to let it kind of do its thing on the bottom. And th what's crazy is this water is not deep. Out there in the channel, it's maybe three feet deep at the most. And that's probably pushing it. Everywhere that I checked was about a foot and a half deep. And then, of course, you got about a foot of mud. Yeah, we'll give it about 15 minutes. The first time I go 15 minutes without a bite, we're done. Oh, I missed it. See, I don't have a very good hook on there either. Oh, man. And that was only about probably two minutes after I turned the camera off. I've got the wrong hook on here, though. This is like a little minnow jigging hook type thing. Not made for catfish. I wish I have a whole bunch more hooks in the tackle box, but I never dreamed I was going to go through that many hooks. And then part of it is, is my string was wrapped around a stick down there in the water. And that made it hard to set the hook. So I guess I'll hold it. It's only 15 minutes. Oh, I missed it. How did I miss that? He got my bait, too. Man, that was quick, too. I just cast it out there again. Because I had had a bite, took my bait before. Man. This hook is just not a good hook for this at all. I was catching them one after another without fail on that other hook, but this one here isn't offset. I wonder if I could manually offset it a little bit with my pliers. There we go, there's an idea. Because those other ones are just very slightly offset. Redneck engineering right there. Now maybe it'll work, we'll try it one more time. Well, I'm done. <laughs> Lost my hook, which is good. I didn't like that hook anyway. I am absolutely, positively frozen. I'm, I'm literally sh shivering uncontrollably almost. So I need to get back now and get dried. Whew. But it wasn't all for nothing. We got something out of the deal at least. There we go. Put my catfish in there. They should be fine right there. I've put catfish in there before with no issue. We'll toss this up here with me just in case. <laughs> so if they do take off, they can't take off too far. I'm telling you what, spam and catfish, it works and it works good too. Once I found the spot where the catfish were, I was slamming them one after another. If I would have had good hooks, but yeah, definitely coming back to this spot for sure, for sure, for sure. Oh, here's a piece I already had pre-cut. I guess I'll donate it to the catfish. Who would have thought using spam for bait? <laughs> Just a spur of the moment idea, but boy, it sure worked good. And I made it back to the truck. I was pedaling it, paddling against the wind. That about wore me out. I think it was mainly just because I'm soaking wet and I haven't had much to eat today. That's what I'm going to do now. Go back, change my clothes, get something to eat. I was looking at the clock. I texted a guy right when I got there and started fishing in that spot. And from the time of then to when I actually packed up the kayak and started heading back, was about an hour and 15 minutes so that's not bad at all hour and 15 minutes for three good fish well two good fish and one mediocre fish <laughs> plus there was the big one that wrapped the log and threw the hook plus several that i missed now count the time spent kayaking down there and i fished a bunch of other spots where i got nothing and then the time kayaking back all together i had about three three and a half hours invested but still that's a fish per hour i mean you can't beat that plus it was fun I'll probably get pneumonia now, but nah, that's okay. It's really not that bad. It's not cold outside. That's the one good thing is it's a, the rain's not a cold rain. It's a warm rain. Right now it's 62 degrees according to my truck. But I will talk to you guys here in a little bit. I'm going to get back and get cleaned up. And after that, I went back and I got dried off by the fire. Somebody else did clean the catfish. I cooked them up the next day, but I was so worn out from being soaking wet that after I got dried off, I went to sleep. Was it worth it? I don't know, it was a lot of fun, so and I never did get sick, so I guess it probably was worth it. I had never heard of anybody else using Spam for catfish bait, but it worked out really good. I was actually shocked. And just a little spoiler, in between the time that I filmed this video and the time that I'm editing this video, 
I actually went fishing again using spam and it worked again so I know it wasn't a one-time fluke. My only complaint about spam is that it comes off the hook really easy. You got to be careful how hard you cast it. You can't do like really long casts. If you did that it'll fly off there but if you do like a gentle cast it's just fine. Anyway I will let you all go with that. I'm really hoping to start uploading some more content to this channel. I keep saying that and then stuff gets super busy at the main yard and on the main channel and I'm busy working at the yard and just it never works out but I do have about five videos recorded that I just got to get edited and uploaded so stay tuned for those and as always I hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day get out there find an adventure and don't be afraid to try new things and don't be afraid of the rain <laughs> we'll see you next time